suppose we all thought that one way or another. What's good, everybody? So, one little punch in the game, come back to you again with some more Dead by Daylight. Salute to my new subscribers, my returning subscribers. I gotta flex on them real quick. Much love to everybody that came through to my birthday live stream last night. Those of you that understood that was my birthday and not just a regular live stream, a special credit to you for paying attention. Anyways, this video. It's going to be about, do I like DBD more than Texas Chainsaw Massacre, or do I like Texas Chainsaw Massacre more? Hmm, well, to be honest, they're both pretty much set themselves apart from each other, because Texas Chainsaw Massacre, nice one, Bill. Do it again. Do it again, I dare you. Yeah, right. You ain't doing shit. Look at this goofy dude. You ain't doing shit either. Bop. Hey, what yeah, doing all that teabagging for what? Get fucked. Anyways, what I was saying is, there are so... There's so many elements to both of them that set themselves apart from each other. Texas Chainsaw Massacre is literally like third person all the way. Whether it be killers or survivors, survivors or victims, they're third person, period. And that's pretty incredible for a third, I mean, an asymmetrical game. And the things that set them apart is deep, oh baby girl, that was not the move. Anyways, it's, yeah, there's no flashlights in Texas Chainsaw Massacre or any thing that can really hinder the killers from attacking you besides bone shards other than that you can't do shit to them huh one more thing the shoulder charge those are the two attacks you can do towards the killers you can stun them <clears throat> and on here you can blind the killer you can uh, use the S against the killer you can stun the killer with the uh, head on, and I'm sure there's other perks that I don't recall or you know don't really focus too much on because I don't play Survivor anymore. It's a waste of time in DVD, as far as I'm concerned. Get fucked, Bill. Go away. And it's just like in Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Stealth is very essential to your survival and understanding how to do the objectives. And here goes another point that I want to make. The objectives in TC Texas Chainsaw <coughs> Excuse me. Texas Chainsaw Massacre really set it apart from like any uh, other like <coughs> asymmetrical game. Like with the building that, that, you know, you gotta pretty much build your way up to getting a lockpick. A lockpick is like a key item you need in that game. In this game, pretty much all you do is like build generators. That's why it's the objective and hope and action game. That's it. Like, what the fuck? It's been off for seven years and that's all you can do. I mean, that's pretty lazy, in my opinion. So, hats off to Gun Interactor. No, 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 no. Wait, 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 wait. Wait, 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 wait. Ooh, Mac. God damn, Mac. I did you dirty, huh? That's what you get for fucking flashlight, man. I'm thinking you slick. Get your bitch ass on that. Anyways, as I was saying, it's just. There's a lot of complexities to it. This game is not as gruesome. Get fucked, ass. Stupid bitch. 
You niggas need to learn your lesson. You're not playing no average ass killer. You're playing against me. I'm a fucking bully. I won't be teabagging at the door watching you leave. Nigga, if you leave, you open the exit gate, just fuck off. I don't got time to wait for you to be fucking teabagging and waiting for me to come to the door and pointing at shit. Get your goofy asses out of the game so I can go do something else. Stop stalling the game with your lame asses. I can't stand y'all niggas. I can't stand y'all. Anyways, moving on. It's just, you know, with Texas Chainsaw Massacre, you have three killers instead of just one. For survivors, which is the same here. But with three killers, it can be a clusterfuck of, like, who's doing what and when. Because if I'm, it's this situation right here, I'll be chasing them, and then some clumsy fuck killer shows up and tries to chase them as well. And depending on that uh, character hit, you know, the character detection, or whatever you want to call it, it'll bump me out the way so they can get go forward. I'm like, ain't this about a bitch? I was already here. Where the fuck did you come from? You know, that type of stuff. So, I hate that. Because I'm not trying to be out here trying to fight for kills and shit. And I'm trying to, you know, put position myself to where I can get a kill. And I shouldn't have to fight for it. It should be designated. Think this is my kill. I put the most work in to kill him. You know? On DPD, I don't have to worry about having to fight over a kill. All the kills are mine if I can secure it. If this stupid ass Meg thinks she can just 360 me all day, man, like, come on, bro. Come on. You, the Bill, and Ace are all trying that. Mm, I know this map better than you. Get fucked. And that's another thing about what makes this different than Chances Chainsaw Massacre. The map knowledge. Map knowledge is key to really shitting on survivors. And it's not feeling like a fucking maze. When I play Texas Chainsaw Massacre, I feel like I'm in a goddamn maze. Just wandering the same area for 10 minutes. Trying to figure out where the hell to go, cause it's so it's multi-layered. I like that, but it's just confusing as hell. Having to go through doors, close the doors, having to go through all this micro meta type of shit. It can be daunting at times. Yes, I know it's, it's a fairly new game, and I'm more used to playing Dead by Daylight, which is more. That maps are more simplistic. Get fucked. Don't. Yeah, this dude just wants my attention. I'm ignoring him on purpose. And like, with this game, you have a pretty much say so on like how the match begins and how it ends. So I have full control right now. They're all petrified of me. They know they can get that ass beat. But in Texas Chainsaw Massacre, you really have to work hard to make sure and maintain that the exit gates, or the object, the multiple objectives, they don't. Man, 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 Meg, you ain't shit. You pretty much have to maintain a lot more on that game than you do here. But that does add to. It's not about complexity and interesting, like, gameplay, but depends on how you feel about, you know, having to share it with mostly randoms, because good luck trying to get your teammates to join you, well, you know, friends to join you, or whatever. Here, it's a lot easier, smoother, they got that shit ironed out pretty good. Also, another thing is, I don't 
Uh, they have a li obviously it's the family, so obviously they don't have a limited selection of killers to play with, and it does help that you know they have different perks, and they're not just skins like how survivors are in this game, and what makes it different from these two as far as killers and here then there this uh, has a, a wide variety of different perks you use it's not just like a few perks that you can kind of swap out and it takes a while to like level them up because on that game it takes quite a while to level up perks and attributes and shit like that but mm, I don't know both games are very satisfying to play in different ways it's just I'm gonna enjoy both, but I just don't like how long the fucking queue times are for waiting to get motherfuckers to ready up. I don't know. I, they do the same thing in this game, but it's not as, as egregious. If that makes any sense, because I think it's like two minutes over there to compare to this one minute. And then, like, you know, getting around to the last 20 seconds, and they just force them ready to go. Get fucked, Ace. Your little bitch ass ain't going nowhere. I'm gonna wait for you to die. You wanna teabag me? You wanna play like little hoe? We're gonna play like a hoe too. You ain't going nowhere. Your ass ain't going nowhere. Goofy. Get fucked for the last time. You can run, but you can't hide, bitch. Facial recognition got a hit. Jesus Christ, that's Jason Bourne. You're goddamn right. Mm -mm -mm. This is how I play Bubble in DVD. Compared to how I would play him in Jackson Chainsaw Master, I love the gore. I love that you can just pretty much execute them whenever you want. That's a plus compared to this game where you have to get a, a, a Mori. And do the little stupid challenges in order to get to that part. Just beating the shit out of a survivor and get to more him? That's dope. But anyways, much love to y'all. I'm the one your mama warned you about. When you see me, I will leave you no doubt.